Hello guys, so today we're gonna talk about Droopy Eyes makeup. Thank you so much to everyone who participates in my Sunday streams. I do streams almost every Sunday right now. Today we're gonna talk about Droopy Eyes and Droopy Eyes basically when the outer corners of the eyes are heavier and downwards and the outline of the eye also looks very pretty much down on the outer corners. Marilyn Monroe, for example, had droopy eyes and she even was exaggerating that with an eyeliner. Remember, she would do thicker here, just above the iris, and then she would make this downward line specifically, but also it was done to exaggerate the flick. So the flick would be much more lifted. You kind of have to create more downward line just before you're going up. The purpose of that was mostly to exaggerate that outer flick that she did. But still, she was exaggerating her droopy eyes and I think that looks amazing sometimes it's called bedroom eyes half closed like dreamy eyes before you even start watching this video if you think that you have droopy eyes try to exaggerate this and see how it goes because I think in 90% you will just reverse your understanding of this beauty and you will fall in love with it on the other hand, I know that there is a problem for some women sometimes when they feel like they are too swollen or the other parts of the face that happened by nature, not because of age or plus size or overweight or things like that, not because of that. Normally it's because of nature, the structure of the face. Some women, they can have downward mouth here and downward lines here and downwards lines under the eyes. So sometimes those lines kind of create that tendency of the whole face going down. And these women, they really need sometimes to freshen their look to make that eye lift very fast. So today I'm gonna show you several tricks. We're gonna build and build and build and build the makeup. So we're gonna go from minimal makeup to more makeup. Let's say you're just doing your foundation or your powder. You can use cream contouring kit and I bought this for just for 10 bucks this elf one just to try because I wasn't sure if I would stick to cream contouring and I'm in love with it the way it blends the way it stays on the face the way it's not making those dark dots in the pores so if you have it handy you can apply even with your finger this lightest shade on the outer corner of your eye here on the bottom and make sure you go very close to your lashes and don't touch that center of your eye under the pupil area. Leave it alone for now. Yeah, so you're just applying a little bit on the outer corner here and just going up and up and up. You can already start, stop that tendency of the eye going down. You can also use lighter concealer. You can even use lighter eyeshadow. If you are very light, you can use white eyeshadow. Anything will work. Slightly lighter color than your skin tone. Then we're taking the color that you would do your contouring with normally. So we are applying this on that part that portion of the skin just above the outer corner of your eye. So normally what it does, that kind of a skin, if it doesn't have any makeup in there, if it doesn't have any shadows in there, that tends to create that illusion of that heavier skin and bigger skin that is pressing our eyes down on the outer corner a little bit. So in order to break that tendency, that downward tendency, we need an opposite shape shadow on the outer corner. So we take this brown color and we're applying it on our outer corner and we're blending it to the temple. Now we did contouring for our droopy eyes. Next step, if you use cream products, probably you want to set it with powder. You can already see this tendency of the eye going up on the outer corners. Next thing what we do, very straight piece of paper, you can use a credit card or something like this, and I place it above my iris, all my top lashes just above the iris, on the highest point of my eye and I make it parallel to the floor, parallel to the ground. It has to be absolutely straight parallel to the ground. And I put it on top there and then I see how much space I can occupy with darker eyeshadow in order to make this lifting effect happen. This is the mistake that sometimes some women do when they want to get their almond shaped eyes or just elongated eyes out of their droopy eyes is they still don't lift this part enough. So what happens is they still apply some dark products, whether it's dark eyeshadow or eyeliner or liquid eyeliner, they still applied on the outer corner thinking that they're lifting it, but in fact, they don't. So basically it again stops on a lower level than the highest point of the curve of their lash line, top lash line. This is the space that we can easily occupy you can start with just darker eyeshadow. I'm gonna go for this dark brown espresso color. I want it to be more like a daytime makeup first. We can always add some liquid eyeliner for boldness later. Occupying this whole space, it's gonna be like long triangle. So this is approximately the shape we are going for. And we're filling this in, of course not dropping this below that line that we already created on the outer corner here, with our light and dark 
shadows. So when we occupy that space, we just blend it a little bit so it would be very soft, blended, dark, elongated spot on the outer corner of my, our eyes. And what it does, we're kind of equalizing the top place here in the center of our eyes and on the outer corner. And this way, our eyes already gonna be very elongated. Another plus point of this is you don't have to create this messy or too harsh, very sharp spot with a liquid eyeliner because sometimes with liquid eyeliner, it just goes too sharp. It just looks very exaggerated and too bold. And sometimes it's even hard to achieve that line. So first you just play with dark or even taupe like for a daytime taupe eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna exaggerate and I'm gonna put some liquid eyeliner in there. My liquid eyeliner, I'm not gonna repeat this whole dark space that I just made with an eyeshadow. It's not needed. I'm just adding liquid eyeliner the way I would do, but starting not at the top part above the iris, but slightly to the side, slightly below the top part. I don't wanna make this top part above the iris even higher than that because the difference will be again, the eye will be dropped on the outer corner. So we don't want that. So I'm making this line as usual, making a little flick and that creates that depth of color because with lashes, along with lashes, it's gonna look very rich and intense. And those colors that are blended here, they will actually imitate fuller lashes for you on the outer corner here. And again, we'll make this lift. Many people also use these clips for eyelashes. I don't use them. And on my Sunday live chat, I will tell you why I never use them and I'm scared of them. But I know many people use them and, and they're fine. So you can use them and curl your upper lashes. The next thing you can take, and this is absolutely optional, but if you want like exaggerate this effect even more, I use this Voluminous Base by L'Oreal. It's a white mascara, we all know this. And I start with the very roots of my lashes. It helps me to curl my lashes even more. And I apply it from my roots on top lashes and on bottom lashes. Then I let it dry, then I apply my mascara, but I apply it in a very interesting manner. First of all, I apply it on my top lashes and I start very much from the bottom of my lashes to make this lash line very rich, very rich. The direction of my outer lashes, I try to pull them kind of to my temple area that again, gonna create this elongation and that's gonna fill in this gap that we need to fill in with color. And another thing about the bottom lashes, under the iris, you're applying your dark mascara a bit lower, not by the roots of your lashes, but a little bit lower. And what it does, it creates lower lash line on the bottom, in the center. If it's lower in the center, then on the outer corner, as a contrast, is gonna look more lifted. And so you probably already guessed, on the outer corner, we do apply it very close to the roots of our lashes, but just on the outer corner. So that is creating that contrast between the middle of the eye and the outer corner of the eye. So it's lifting it even more. Another trick that you can do, we can add on top. I don't have light pencil. Some women, they do have light pencil. Best if it's not white, but beige. It just depends on your skin tone, of course. But for girls like me, it's better to be beige. For darker girls, it's better to be a bit darker, darker, darker. You can apply this just in the center under your pupil. I normally never do this because as far as my iris is pretty contrasted and dark, it creates that artificial kind of theatrical makeup, especially when I'm close to somebody during the day. So I don't do it personally, but you can do this if you want. And then I'm taking a dark black pencil, for example, or you can use dark brown that you can use on your waterline and that can stay on your waterline. So I use it on the waterline, just by the outer corner, only where your lashes is painted up to the roots. So we wanna create even more lifted effect there and nothing in the center of, eye, of our eyes. Again, that contrast of levels. Another thing, if you want your eyeliner to go all over your eye, start it from here, make sure that you use something very thin, whether it's a very thin liquid eyeliner or whether it's very thin brush for eyeshadow, you make this brush a little bit wet so the eyeshadow would not be all over the place and you're creating this very thin, thin, thin line up to the highest point of your eye. This way it's not gonna create that huge contrast between the center of the eye and the outer corner of the eye. And the last thing I would go for, again, if you want that, if you don't want, you can skip this step. Some women, they like something to be underneath their eyes, some kind of an eyeshadow or something. So you're taking like a mid-brown tone, maybe with some shimmer, so not to over-exaggerate that thing. You're just creating a 
a little bit of a shadow just behind the lower lashes in the center, just in the center of your eye, just a little bit, a touch of the shadow. This way your eyes will look rounder at the same time, not very elongated and almond shaped, but also rounded, but not droopy as well. It's for those who want them to be rounded. And the last thing, again, for those who want it to be rounded still, but not droopy, you can add a little bit of eyeshadow here, just above your crease, uh, a little bit of that brown eyeshadow. That will make your eyes rounder still, but still not droopy. And one extra tip that I can give you, if you are doing the full face anyway, of course, if, if you are darkening the sides of your face in this kind of manner, in diagonal manner, here and here, that already gonna create some lifting effect, lighter powder or lighter cream contour here. If you apply a little bit of light, lighter cream here by your lips, a little bit lighter here by your nose, that already is gonna create a whole different lifted face for you. And some shimmer, of course. Shimmer helps a lot with tightness of the skin because it makes your skin look not real a little bit, as if you're like a plastic doll in the best sense of the word, especially if you are creating that kind of a line. And when you move your face, this line is gonna reflect light very beautifully and again, gonna show us that tendency to eye lift. You can also do it close to here. And the last, last, last tip for you would be don't drop your eyebrows here on the outer corner. Make the tip of your brow not going down too much, but maybe a little bit higher. Just draw some strokes a little bit higher there so the point would not look downwards, but look a little bit to the side. I'm not telling you to go for a straight brow like this so it would point to the temples, but still, you know, this will also tighten the skin so much there and bam, it's gonna create that eye lift. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful. Some products that I bought, I will leave the link down below so you'd also check them out because I'm pretty happy with everything that I use and I don't need for now anything else for my makeup. And last thing, my subscribers always ask me what is on my lips. And as you know, my favorite lip pencil is Half Red by MAC. I always used it for all my videos. Now I have second favorite and this is by Thrive. It's called Mauve. And I bought this because I was first buying this mascara because it's super popular. And if I would buy something extra to this one they, they had a discount so I decided to try this and now I use it almost for all of my music videos and also here it's a little bit fresher than half red it's not as dark this is my half red of course I just bought another one and this is mauve by Thrive amazing matte it's pretty creamy but it's pretty long lasting so I'm gonna leave the link on this particular one down below too thank you so much guys and I'll see you very soon bye, -bye.